So get ready to take your gaming experience to the next level with the PS5 DualSense Edge controller and learning its iconic thumbstick and dead zone sensitivity. Hey everyone, my name is Brandon and welcome to Creighton TV, where we explore the latest and greatest in gaming technology. Access the stick sensitivity, what you want to do is press and hold the function button and the option button on the PS5 DualSense Edge controller. From here, it brings you to the menu of their custom profiles where you can set up custom buttons, stick sensitivity, trigger sensitivity, dead zones. So right now going with the stick sensitivity, showing you that the default, quick, precise, steady, digital, and dynamic. You want to make sure you set up both left stick and your right stick. I have tested out each one of those, which I will show you in this video. And me personally right now, I am rocking with the steady plus one on both the left and the right analog stick. Now we're on this and I have a custom profile as Fortnite. I haven't assigned any other profiles, but you can have multiple profiles in here when you go to create custom. But right now we're gonna use my Fortnite press one. So when you wanna do is you click on, I'm gonna click on my custom for Fortnite profile from here. It's gonna give me the options to customize the back buttons so I can map them to any part of the controller. Stick sensitivity and dead zones, the trigger sensitivity and dead zone. Stay tuned for a future video on that where I explain you know, how to get the best out of the tr trigger dead zones and where you should have your sensitivity for. You know, you got your vibration, which I always turn off, which I advise you to. And then tr trigger effect intensity, I put strong. But right now we're talking about the stick sensitivity dead slash dead zone. So you want to click on that. Right now, when you, when you come to this menu, this is the first menu that you see right here. And it'll allow you to adjust the input and everything else for your thumbstick sensitivity. But normally when you get your controller, it's like this. It's on default. You want to come through and you know pick one of these that you like to try out. When you do quick, this is what quick does is the amount of register input accelerates as you tilt this. Uh, Tilt the stick, good for making quick movements, gain upper hand. So if you like to aim quick and play quick, you know, try out quick. So I advise you, if you do quick, you get to like a curve adjustment. You could try it at zero. You can also press X to go down to try it negative. So if you don't want it that fast, but if you increase it, trust me, it's fast. I have tried quick out at a plus one, it was too fast. But me, um, you want to try this, I say negative one, negative two input. It's okay for that. If you want to try out quick, negative one and input, negative two input is good. If you like high sensitivity, stuff like that, it's always good. You can leave it back at zero. You can adjust the dead zone adjustment. I just leave that at zero percent because you don't want to mess with that as much. Precise is going on precise. It says minimal input register when you click, when you tilt the stick. So it just gives you minimum for, you know, for ability to aim. Precise is okay. And if you want to use precise, I would say use your curve adjustment around plus two. It all depends on what your sensitivity for whatever game you is. Plus two, plus one is always good. A zero is good if you want to just leave it at zero and raise your sensitivity in game. Steady, a steady is what I rock with. I rock with a steady and a plus one. Steady is great. You want to get like real good detail, aim, and everything else. Steady gives you limited input on your tilt to stick so far. Enable smooth and stable movement. Yeah, steady is real good. So you might want to try out steady if you want to see where you fall in that line. But if you use steady and you have a high sensitivity, I recommend that you would lower your curve adjustment unless you like it that way or just put it back down to zero. But if you have like an OK, you know, moderate uh, sensitivity, you know, you can rock steady with a plus one and you should be sufficient. Next, they have digital and digital consists of, you know, just tilting the stick sli even slightly when registered, nearly maximum input. And I'm going to show you each one of these, how they all work. Dynamic. You know, that's super, super quick, slightly far. So dynamic felt kind of slow to me, in my opinion. I didn't really like it as much. Start off with default profile and no curve adjustment. And then from here, you could always just go back to the right and click back to the game. It allows you to try out custom settings. But right now, this is default. You know, this is default as what it is. If you want to go back, you press the, uh, the function button, the menu button. This is just for the left stick. You also have the right stick also. Left stick, quick, what is zero? And then you will have to go over to your right. And I change that to quick with a zero. You can see we can press the function and the menu button to go back to the game. But now you see my sensitivity is sped up real fast and I haven't even changed. I haven't really moved and that's at a zero. If I go back to it and I go to the right stick and then 
if I added like a plus one to the curve and on the left stick added a, a negative one just to help balance it out. Now look at this. Without even aiming in, look how fast the, if you like playing like this, this is one thing that you can do. See, when you aim down, it's faster. The left stick may not be as fast, but if you put the left on that, you'd be doing the same thing as this. And each one you have to change and just, you know, play with it just to mess with it, just to see how you like it and what is best for you. Precise with a zero, just check out real quick. Ice and go back to the game. Precise is precise is good too, but if you want to use precise, I would say use at least go plus one. I didn't really like it as much because it felt slow like very very slow so you might have to do plus two on this one maybe even a plus three um steady with a plus one on both the left and the right stick awesome you know being accurate and feeling smooth when you play and everything else i would say just you know work with steady steady is really good now if you do a left stick digital and a right stick digital feels okay but it's just like all your input is right away and then it slows down it's like also have dynamic dynamic is and eh, it, it was okay you just have to play with it what works best for you you can go but if you want to use mine i'll say go steady plus one on the left and steady plus one on the right and then you hit circle to save it go back and that will be saved as your profile let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section you want to know even more about the thumbstick sensitivity and how to get back to it remember it's just a function and the million button to let you go and create custom profiles and change your decimal sensitivity. So go ahead and check that out. I've been using Steady with a plus one on the PS5 DualSense. So if you want to purchase yourself the PS5 DualSense Edge controller, I recommend that you want to get one. The PS5 DualSense is Sony's first ever PlayStation controller. Comes with a lot of features. You know, you get swappable thumbsticks, custom uh, back buttons, clicky hair triggers, you know, it's pretty dual great controller, even though you only get two paddles, you know, like the world's competition, you can get four other controllers out there. Two paddles is still good and sufficient and works well. You can use it on the regular PS5 charge station to charge your controller. In order to swap out the thumbsticks and change the thumbstick sensitivity, you want to make sure you press either one of the function buttons and the menu button on top of the controller, which is right here and the function button. That way you can go into the custom profile settings to set up and map the buttons to how you want to map them to the face buttons and be able to analyze how the controller is and how you want to do it. But using the thumbstick sensitivity for the PS5 DualSense, once you get one or purchase one, link will be down in the description box down below. If you do get one, make sure you just read each thumbstick sensitivity and check it out because you may want to check out how each settings work. That's what I did. I tested out with each one of them and I played with each one of them for about a good five, 10 minutes just to see how I liked it, maybe even 20 minutes. And right now I'm rocking with on both left and right stick, a steady plus one. So go ahead and check it out. Links will be down in the description box down below if you want to purchase yourself a PS5 DualSense Edge controller if you haven't got one already. Stay tuned for the upcoming video or I give you the perfect settings, how to find for the uh, tr triggers for the PS5 Dual Six. So stay tuned for upcoming video on that. So whether you're a casual gamer or a hardcore enthusiast, the PS5 Dual Sense Edge controller is a must-have for anyone looking to elevate their gaming experience. So if this video was helpful for you, make sure you like this video, subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you in my next video, and God bless. Peace.